call heaven and earth to be a record today. That rock nation, you will crumble. Looks like God ignored that one. This entire situation still doesn't feel real to me, but I'm glad that it's somewhat finally over. The gender war is over until the next stupid topic comes up. On Tuesday, August 8th, Tory Lanez was officially sentenced to 10 years in jail for the shooting incident that took place between him and Megan Thee Stallion in 2020. A few months ago, he was officially charged with three felonies, assault with a semi-automatic firearm, having a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. To me, I'm glad this entire situation is over and we can move on because this entire case and trial was a complete mess. Tory Lanez is gonna go down as one of the biggest losers in hip hop because he was on top of the world during one of the most difficult moments in modern history and somehow his potential empire came crashing down on him because he had too much dip on his chip. This man had women twerking and pouring milk on themselves on quarantine radio. Fans were enjoying his bullshit music where he relies on samples. And he was allegedly hooking up with Megan Thee Stallion and her best friend Kelsey. How greedy can one man be? It's a joke in there somewhere about the Kardashians ruining more black people lives, but I'm not going to be the one to make it. Tory Lanez really thought he was Teflon. If you remember, the only reason all of this stuff even happened was because of him. In 2020, we all saw the video of them getting out of the car, surrounded by police, but nobody really knew what happened. Meg got on IG Live and she spoke about it, but didn't give too much details. Some time went by and then she drops a Oppenheimer, revealing that Tory did indeed shoot her. What the f***? The entire situation was hard to wrap my brain around because I thought it was no way somebody could be that stupid but here we are. On top of that, Meg says the only reason she ever brought it to light was because of the way Tori was moving behind the scenes. Meg is much better than me because I would have snitched immediately. All that pro-black stuff, all of that's going out the window as soon as you shoot a gun at me. I would have been telling the cops that Lego-sized Canadian has a bazooka because I'm petty. So not only did he cause all of this by shooting her or shooting around her, depending on where you stand with that, but him not being able to shut his mouth it's the reason she exposed all of this. Even after she accused him, we're talking about a guy who made an entire album saying that he was innocent in this situation. The case goes to trial and he turns down a plea, he doesn't take the stand, and he's on Twitter basically mocking Meg and her supporters. This man tweeted in 2021 that he's chilling while people on Twitter think he's going to jail. This one is my favorite when he's talking about no weapon formed against me shall prosper and blah blah blah. People love doing dumb shit and then trying to bring God into it. And no, I'm not celebrating a black man going to jail or nothing like that. To me, I'm a right is right, wrong is wrong kind of person. With everything Tory Lanez did over the last three years, it's kind of hard to feel bad for him. All he had to do was shut up, but he couldn't do that. When it comes to what exactly happened that night, I still don't have a clue. I feel like it was one of those drunk, stupid nights that went left, and based on the trial, I don't feel like any of them are telling the complete truth about certain aspects. Meg, Tori, and Kelsey all have holes in their side of the story, and they seem to be strategic on which details they leave out. The only thing I know for sure is that Meg did get shot or shot at, however you want to say it. She's for sure a victim in this situation, and I hope she feels some sort of peace after all this nonsense. Some people say that Tori got too much time with 10 years, but... I don't know, I'm not a legal expert. He's already been in jail for almost a year, so I would assume that counts, but once again, I'm no expert. And some people are saying, but if you commit this other crime, you get more years. And yes, congratulations. You realize our justice system is broken. I honestly was surprised that he did get charged, not because Meg is lying or anything like that, but because nothing in this trial made sense. Meg says Tory shot her, Tori says Kelsey shot her. Kelsey says she didn't shoot her, but she doesn't know who did. And the neighbor says he saw a flash coming from a group of women fighting. My brain hurts even thinking about this trial. Iggy Azalea somehow apparently got involved by writing a letter in support to Tori. Yeah, Iggy just needs to shut up and model. I'm tired of talking about this stuff and I hope that it's finally over so we can talk about more important things that really matter like Drake's upcoming new album. But thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new here. What are your thoughts on the Tory Lanez and Meg saga? Do you think Tory actually did it? And do you think giving him 10 years is too much? Let me know in the comment section below. Love you guys. Tell someone you love them. Until next time, see you in the next life.